What only exists because humans are dumb. I work for a timeshare. The levels of stupidity and entitlement by both the owners and the people who sell the timeshares are off the charts. Everyone from the top down is scammed. I only justify the evil because I'm in food and beverage and have nothing to do with that side. I once went through a timeshare presentation because they promised a $350 Visa gift card, free hotel stays, and a tour of the area, which was nice because I was new to the area. The lady doing the tour wore a fancy watch, upside down. It took a little convincing, but I did manage to walk away with the $350 gift card and hotel voucher. I never did use the hotel voucher, though. Till there are companies who get you out of timeshares. I remember my parents spent an entire day in Bali sitting through timeshare presentations because they wanted some freebie that was advertised. On a related note, it may be that there's another thing that exists because humans are dumb. It may be me. A couple years ago we got a free 5 day trip to Phuket and all we had to do was sit through a 2 hour rich person vacation resort presentation thing. They put us up in a luxury villa with a private pool and everything. The trip was totally worth it, we crunched the numbers on the vacation rental and it was a terrible deal. I can't believe anyone would have $50,000 to invest in that crap but not know that you can buy better trips with $50,000. I've sworn never to buy a timeshare, but I did opt for a 4 day trip to a great Florida resort where the stay was free, and they offered me a $50 restaurant gift certificate, or they'd upgrade it to a $200 visa gift card if I did the 1 hour presentation. It was a great trip and I don't regret it, but let me tell ya. This kind of thing is not for people who are likely to feel guilty when the employee gives you a cold shoulder shut down because you said no. It worked to get me to do the presentation the way they went to this icy cold, well, that's fine, tone when I said I thought I'd just take the $50 restaurant gift hit me in the gut, yipe though thank goodness it didn't work to get me to buy the timeshare, because I went in saying to myself do not buy this. No matter how good it sounds. You know better. But it did sound good when they were presenting, and I did feel guilty at the end of the presentation for saying no, like it was my fault they spent so much time on me, aie ye. Also if you say no they keep lowering the price. Beware, if you really don't want to buy. If you have guts of cast iron, enjoy a free trip. Otherwise save yourselves. Please explain for someone from across the ocean. Timeshares are apartments near vacation areas, beaches, theme parks, etc., that many people own a piece of and schedule when they get to be there. Imagine 52 people owning a beachside apartment and only getting a week per year each. They exist because the company makes far more money selling individual shares of the apartment. It's usually a very bad investment. Just to ride your coattails a bit. Time shares usually cost 8-20k. Then they get that from 26 to 52 people. It can turn a property that typically would sell for 300k to over half a million dollars. Then the company that manages the timeshare, for scheduling and maintenance, takes a cut for monthly or annual fees. Most people just buy one use it a couple times then wish they hadn't bought it. When they go to sell it they find out it is just as complicated, if not more complicated, as a typical real estate transaction for a condominium but no one ever wants to buy it, because they are generally regarded as a shitty deal. So the owners are faced with high exit costs since there is no resale market and they have to pay fees forever basically. Owners then go to these secondary companies which try to consolidate ownership of the timeshare or run their own high pressure sales teams to resell the property to the next unsuspecting buyer. The companies usually pay about 10 to 30% the original purchase price and the owners suffer a loss just to unload the property. Timeshares, generally regarded as a bad idea. Edit. Complicated not compulted. I always tell anyone who considers a timeshare. You'll probably sink around $20,000 into this thing, and if you're lucky, you'll get 10 years of use out of it. That's 10 week long vacations to the same apartment near the beach in Florida or wherever, the exact same little condo, during the exact same week, every year. Where you've got to supply your own meals and drinks. Where you've got to clean up at the end or be hit with a maintenance fee. Where if you can't go because of a project at work, you don't get any of that cost back. Or worse, if the beach gets hit by a hurricane and everything shuts down for years. Sorry, out of luck. But you've got to keep paying. Alternatively, 
$2,000 will get you a pretty nice room for a full week at an all-inclusive resort at tons of places around the Gulf of Mexico. Hell, $2,000 would get you a pretty nice suite on a 7-day cruise. Places where you don't have to take a cab to get to the attractions. Where they clean your room for you every day, and where all your meals and drinks are made for you, no extra cost. And most importantly, you get to choose exactly when and where you want to go. And if you want to go. If the timing doesn't work. Get most of your money back, or reschedule. If money's tight and you just don't want to go this year. No problem, just keep your money and don't go. If the resort gets hit by a hurricane and shuts down. Chances are you'll get most, if not all of your money back from travel insurance, worst case, you lose the cost of one vacation. So would you rather lock yourself into 10 of the exact same vacations, that you may or may not be able to go on, and still pay the same price whether you go on them or not? Or would you rather have the option to pick 10 different vacations, and pick different times of the year, and decide whether you even want to pay for them in the first place? Thank you.